Hi, team. So today, our task is to fill in even more blanks in our overview, our six-day survey of the nervous system. And we're going to focus in on visceral motor and visceral sensory, which is involved in the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is beautifully uh, visualized right here in this diagram. And perhaps you'll look at this diagram and think, oh, what? Hopefully by the end of today's lecture, we will slowly unpack each part of that so that it isn't quite as overwhelming and messy. We're going to start out by comparing efferent pathways in general. Although the autonomic nervous system includes visceral sensory fibers, visceral sensory information is included in the autonomic nervous system. Our visceral sensory pathways don't hold distinctive anatomical uh, characteristics. And so it's more of a diffuse and kind of all over the place and random setup. So we're not really going to focus in on that. Visceral motor, which includes, there, there are two divisions of visceral motor pathways, and those have very distinct structural characteristics. So that's where we're going to focus our conversation. As we move through, we're going to compare and contrast the two visceral motor pathways while hopefully tying together some of the loose ends that you may have with spinal cord and pathways, cranial nerves, we'll put the pieces together. We're going to start out just by comparing our efferent pathways, which were somatic motor and visceral motor. So we're going to look at the anatomy of those two and compare them so that we'll have something to bounce off of. Does that sound like a good plan to you? Okay, then, let's do it. <laughs> 